Hello you guys, welcome back to another week in my life vlog. Feels good to be back in the swing of vlogging for the new year. I'm feeling good about this week and just, I woke up feeling good. Today's Monday, so perfect time to start a new vlog, but I just feel like it's homebody energy. It's winter time and I just feel like these are gonna be some cozy homebody vlogs. I folded these blankets up earlier at the end of the couch and Squirtle has taken it as it is a throne for him to stare out the balcony window and bark at any car or person that goes by. I have a bit of a mini mail haul to start this vlog. I actually got all this stuff yesterday, um, but I wanted to show you guys since I wasn't vlogging yesterday. I ordered this pair of earrings from Depop. I'm pretty sure they're handmade by the girl. I'll put her shop name on the screen right now because I can't remember because I've never ordered from her before, but they are so cute. She also got these to me in like two days from when I ordered. And I only ordered one pair of earrings, but she literally wrote me a note and was like, I included a little freebie for you. And it was an entire other pair of earrings. And they're like a little, um, it's kind of like the same colors, but in a flower miniature hoop. I decided I would wear those today. And I just thought that was so sweet. Like she literally gave me like a whole free pair of earrings. So go check out her shop if you like these. So I love ordering stuff on Depop and like Etsy and like, and just being able to support mostly women, but in general, just support small business owners and their shops. Wildflower sent me some new phone cases for the new year, which was so exciting because I haven't um, had any from them in a while. They wrote me a little note. Some of you guys might know I have been like <laughs> in the wildflower stan fam. I love the whole family. I've been to their house for Thanksgiving one year. Like they're just such kind people, the whole family. These are the cases. This is the one I actually already put on my phone and then I put it back in the thing to show you guys. And also I'm gonna take some pictures of these for um, my Instagram stories just so I can thank the brands and tag them for sending this stuff over. That one I think is super cute. It's giving like Y2K energy to me. And then this one is really cute too. I've been really into green and purple lately. So I'm happy I got this like green butterfly one. And then this purple paisley one is my current fave. So I have this one on my phone right now. It kind of goes with the nails a little bit. I'm really just a purple girl lately. And last thing, this was so exciting. I swear if you had told me like 2011 through 2013 Lindsay that NARS was gonna send her stuff one day I would have freaked the fuck out I don't know how I got on this mailing list but NARS emailed me and they were like hey Lindsay we like want to send you some stuff so this is their skin in its best light light reflecting collection they sent three different shades of foundation so I'll probably keep like one or two of these for like that match with me and probably like give to a friend or donate the other one I also got a powder and then this is I don't know what this is actually translucent crystal light reflecting setting powder okay that sounds iconic sounds like a little bit of a highlight glowy powder and these two really cute it's like a white leather i don't know if it's real leather but makeup bag and then this little bag too which would be good for like packing skincare on trips and all that stuff so that's a little mail haul to start off this vlog the only thing i really have on like my schedule for today that's like a time thing is i'm gonna work out at orange theory at 5 30. i'm taking my first class since like Honestly, it's been almost a month since I've been, I was gonna go last week and I honestly ended up canceling two classes that I had booked for last week, which kind of sucks because you get charged for it. I don't know, I just like wasn't ready to go back, I guess, and I was kind of trying to, trying to force it. Um, and also I've realized, at least for me right now, like hopefully I'll work back up to working out more in the morning and first thing in the day, like I was doing my Orange Theory classes first thing when I would wake up in the day but that just hasn't been working for me. I've been sleeping later, which I don't like, but I am acknowledging that getting up and going to a workout class, I'm just like feeling too tired to do it. So I figured I should start scheduling the afternoon classes because they have classes all day. So I'll do that in a few hours. It's about two o'clock now. I think I'm gonna go out and treat myself to a little boba. Um, although I get boba without boba, but I still call it boba, but just like a little milk tea or something i've been craving it so much lately my favorite thing is like a thai iced tea boba but without the boba i don't like the little balls i just don't i just don't like them they like go up in my straw and i'm like i don't like that so i just get it without so i think i'm gonna try out this other place that's a little bit closer and i've never tried before i'm gonna take a little 
car journey, listen to the new episode of Girls Gotta Eat, and just treat myself because I just, I just feel like I want to get out and have a little treat. Okay, that place was so cute. I got a Thai tea, which I didn't even know they had um, online. I couldn't tell that they had that, but they had one. This is like my favorite thing to get. Like I said, I get it without the boba. Continuing my purple theme, I got a purple straw. And guys, I'm freaking out right now because that place was called like Blue Cow. So they had all this like, like their cups for their froyo were cow print. And then the girl was like, oh yeah, we have all this cow stuff. And she showed me. They have like merch. I bought a cow print, pink cow print little cup for like coffee or hot drinks and then i got a white one too because they were two for 20 or one for 12 and i was just like well i kind of want a matching set i don't love having like one cup of something you know what i mean since they already like don't necessarily match my other cups but why are those so cute i couldn't resist i was telling the girl in there like whenever i see cow print i just have to purchase and she was like i know just cow print i bought this last night i've never seen a hand like this i've never seen an underbite like that you know, I, I know some people used to work on the show, like, pretty high up, and the story was that, for the most part, I'm wasting no time using my new cup. Why are these so freaking cute? I looked at the bottom, and it has, like, the instructions, like, uh, you're not supposed to put them in the dishwasher, you're supposed to only hand wash them, and it also says, Wild Souls Boutique, so I guess that's, like, who makes these they're so cute if you guys want to check them out i think they had a black one a white one and then the pink one but <laughs> i'm still in the era of my life where i can't say no to anything cow print that i see i'm just embracing it you guys i got a car wash while i was out that was nice it's not supposed to snow or be like rainy or icy for the next like 10 days i looked on the weather app i mean obviously things could change but it's going to be basically 36 or 37 degrees every single day for the next 10 days and partly cloudy. So I figured, okay, probably a good time to get a car wash because you don't want to get one, you know, when it's like gonna snow more or there's gonna be that like icy gross stuff. So I was kind of waiting it out. My car was filthy, not that anyone really cares because it's like when it's snowy, everyone's car gets dirty, but it was a good time to get one. Treated myself to a car wash and a Thai tea. I also have to say, this is probably the best Thai iced tea I've ever had. Extra sweet, but like not overly. It's just so good. I'm definitely gonna go to that place more. It was called Blue Cow Frozen Yogurt and Boba. They're like cups for their Froyo are black and white cow print and that's what initially got me on the topic also the girl that works there said i follow you on instagram so it was really nice to meet her she was so cute she's like i feel like i've seen you out shopping before too so it's just good to see her i'll definitely be returning what like a fun i'm glad i did that honestly that was fun Christmas stuff besides just a few things I put all the like decor away I am gonna leave the tree up for probably another week or two we'll see um I just I'm still liking the tree and I'm gonna keep it up and I didn't want to do it all in one day either like I kind of want to separate my taking down Christmas the only other things I left was like the wreath on the um door it's not really Christmassy it's more like wintry so I left that and I took down some stuff by the front door. I took down um, on our 
balcony over there. Um, I took down some lights and holly. Is that what the green stuff's called? And then I took down this whole area and the other random stuff that I had around the house. I think I pretty much did all of it. So now I'm going to wipe down this area, clear it off, and try to re- organize it a little bit i grabbed some things um like this plant and a couple things here just around the house that i thought would be cute to kind of like set up in this area i still haven't really like decorated what this area is but we're just going to try to get it a little a little cuter and cleaner <laughs> Okay, for now, this is what I did to this area. I think I am going to hang up a couple things like right here. I don't want to cover this up because it's part of our like AC and heat, even though it's not centered, so it looks kind of weird. But I think maybe I'll hang up um, an art print or like some macrame things or just something over here to make it almost like a little more balanced, I guess. And I just feel like there's a lot of white space over here so i think i'll try to do that in the next week or two some of this stuff was on here before and then i added a couple things like i added this plant that was somewhere else and i just feel like it wasn't in a good spot so hopefully it'll be a little happier here this is just like a little spinning thing for like sunglasses or pens or whatever you whatever you want to put in there and then i moved this plant over here and i think it looks nice because it takes up like a lot of room on the table slash desk and it kind of adds like a lot of color and then for now i just put some incense over here but i might move that and i feel like i haven't showed you guys the under area in a while so this is that little bench the cow thingy that i got from finley for christmas and i thought it would actually look a lot better than the one i had here because it was like the one i had here was actually a shower um bench so it was a little weird i needed something just to kind of like sp fill the space under here because i don't want to do a chair because i'm not using it as an actual desk so i feel like a little benchy i don't know if this is really a bench it's more of like a table like an accent table i guess but i feel like that's kind of working for me now so th that's where i figured to put it and then i just have my little basket of blankets that i had before I'm liking keeping that over there and there's usually a plant here but it was getting watered in the sink all right i think i'm done with this cleaning and tidying portion of the day i'm gonna go lay down for like 15 minutes before i start getting ready for orange theory i'm gonna finish this because i still haven't finished this drink yet i'm such a slow drink drinker i'll literally sip on like an iced coffee for like eight hours sometimes i keep my starbucks drinks in the fridge and drink the rest the next day who is she um but yeah i guess i'll talk to you guys when i'm headed to my orange theory class i'm a little tired like it's definitely hard i feel like to get motivated to go at like five o'clock or like 5 30 but i feel like once i'm there i'll have a lot of energy and i'll just be like going i don't ever take pre-workout or anything or like i don't really even t do like celsius is. like i feel like i would do that today but i'm already having caffeine in this so i'm not going to but i don't really take stuff like that i don't know maybe i'll explore it if i'm having trouble getting motivated for these like later in the day classes maybe i would like try pre-workout but i just have never been super inclined because i feel like i always get super hyped up as soon as i start working out and i never have difficulty like motivating myself through the classes let me know if you guys use pre-workout or anything that gets you like pumped up to work out and if you feel like it improves your performance or if you feel like i should just go off of my natural like motivation you know what i mean okay i've been chatty in this vlog today so far but it's been a good day i'm glad that i got some things like changed out and freshened up in the house a moment for the sun setting over the mountains tonight well this truck interrupted it but i love when there's like 
literally like a 20 or 30 minute period where the mountain, the snowy mountains turn like pink when the sun is setting. And I just had to show you guys. I'm on my way to Orange Theory. I'm still listening to the Girls Gotta Eat episode from today. Okay guys, it may look like I did nothing but I did just in fact <laughs> go to my first Orange Theory class in almost a month and it was really good. Now it's about 6.55 and I'm having a little bit of a smoothie. This is actually my smoothie from yesterday that I put in the freezer because <laughs> I didn't finish it and I'm returning to it after I let it thaw out for a bit. But um, I changed back into my comfy clothes Jared and I are gonna start a show together. I've already watched season one of The Morning Show on Apple TV. I definitely recommend it. It's a super good show. It has Reese Witherspoon, Jennifer Aniston, Steve Carell, amongst many others. Um, but I didn't realize that they came out with the whole season two a few months ago, I guess. I don't know where I was. So I wanted to watch season two and I told Jared about it and he was like, oh, that sounds like a good show. Like we should watch it together. So we're gonna. I'm gonna rewatch season one with him because it's it's short and it was a good show and then we'll eventually watch season two But I think it's just gonna be a chill night from here on out. So I might vlog more. I might not I might pick it up tomorrow uh, But yeah, this is pretty much what I'm gonna be up to for the rest of the night I think <laughs> I'll let you guys know if I do anything else But I think it's gonna be just a chill night because I feel like I had a pretty productive afternoon and I did what was on my to-do list today, which wasn't that much, but You know, that's okay it was a good day. All right, guys, I got my Thrive Market box in the mail. And I wanted to do a little unboxing for you guys and also thank them for sponsoring this vlog. They have been a sponsor on my channel a few times and it's a brand that I've used for years. I think since 20... 18 or 2019 is when I first started ordering from them regularly. If you guys don't know about Thrive Market, I'm gonna put you on right now. They are an online destination for food, snacks, drinks, um, supplements, vitamins, wine, stuff to help you be more reusable and sustainable. Um, also, the way they package is pretty sustainable and the way they ship their products, which is very important to me. Thrive Market is membership based. Their monthly membership is $9.95 a month and they also have a yearly membership for $59.95 which comes out to only $5 a month. Orders $49 and up are shipped free every single time and delivered with carbon neutral shipping. And I love how on the website you can search by product type, diet type, by your favorite brands, and so much more. All right, so what I got in this box was some chips. They have a ton of snacks and I was out of tortilla chips. So I got two of these jalapeno lime chips from late July. These are the Thrive Market Organic Fusilli. It is a chickpea pasta and I do eat normal pasta too, but I like to try this out every so often on um, the chickpea pasta because I think it's really good and it's a lot healthier for you. They have tons of dressings and cooking oils and basic stuff like that too for your kitchen. So I got this buffalo ranch. I thought that would be kind of fun as like a little dip a little dipping sauce and then i've been wanting to try this brand forever i've been hearing about it for so long and i've never tried it so it's the brand truff and they basically make truffle infused oils and sauces so i got their black truffle infused olive oil first of all the packaging is amazing it's all glass it's gonna look so pretty just like on the counter or on the stove top and i cannot wait to try this out, I'm probably just gonna use it with cooking more savory dishes and maybe try it on like some crusty bread. And this is the last thing I got. It's another thing from Truff. It's the black truffle pomodoro pasta sauce. I've heard super good things about this. They also make like truffle infused hot sauces and like spicy mayos and stuff like that. It says it's made with ripe tomatoes, delicate herbs, black winter truffle and red chili peppers. It's gonna have a little bit of a kick. Um, I'm really excited to try this. I might have to make some pasta later and try this out. I love how convenient it is and you can also get things a lot cheaper on Thrive Market than getting them at like Whole Foods or a different more expensive like health store like that. And it's just easy to have everything shipped to you in one box. I love using them for pantry staples like olive oils and dressings like I said and sauces and things that are even like more heavy that I don't necessarily want to like carry in from the grocery store and it's nice to just know that they're gonna like arrive safely to me and like i said a lot of times they're cheaper to get them on there so of course i have an awesome discount for you guys they are offering you guys 40 percent off your first order which is crazy that's almost half off plus a free gift if you go to thrivemarket.com 
Lindsay Hughes, it'll be on the screen and the first link in the description box down below. It's the new year, get some healthy stuff or get some snacks or get some wine or get, like guys, the possibilities are endless. You can stock up on vitamins, supplements, you get tea, like, I'm serious, you can get you can get lost on that website. They have so much to choose from. Thank you so much again to Thrive for sponsoring this portion of my vlog. All right guys, it is Tuesday now. Um, it's been a bit of a slow morning. I kind of woke up around 10.30 and I've just been like laying in my bed being lazy. I'm awake now, I'm hungry, I want a coffee, I need to do the dishes, so I think all that. First thing on the to-do list for today, let's get to it. been a pretty mild afternoon good afternoon I've just been like doing some stuff around the house catching up on some business emails filling out some like payment forms and invoices and stuff like that for just some work stuff I had a BLT about 30 minutes ago I took Squirtle on a little walk and now I'm gonna go to my cycling class at the YMCA I have not been to this class regularly I don't think since September because I never told you guys this because it truly wasn't that big of a deal, but I injured my tailbone back in, I think it was September, maybe early October. I fell off my bike basically, and I felt pretty much fine. And then I started noticing the next few days, my tailbone was so sore. And it's not really one of those things that you can heal. You have to literally just like wait it out. It happened over three months ago, and my tailbone's still not completely healed, which is why I haven't gone to cycle class, because you have to kind of sit on that bone, you know what I mean? but I'm doing like so much better, I would say. And so I'm just gonna try my class today because I miss it so much. I mostly miss my teacher, Kim. Anyway, that's where I'm going now. I'm gonna head out the door. I'm in a little bit of a rush, so I'm gonna leave, but hopefully it'll be good. Hello, I am home back in my comfy clothes. This is actually Jared's sweater that I got him for Christmas. It's well, we lodge on me, but I wanted to wear it today because I like it and I haven't worn it yet since I gave it to him. I had a great class. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy to be back. I just missed Kim so much. She's literally the sweetest person and she just like greeted me so warmly back to class and said that she missed me and so I'm like, okay, and my tailbone feels okay now. I'm gonna monitor it tomorrow, but I think I'm good enough to like go back to class basically. I'm heating up some soup because I just wanted something super easy. I got hungry when I got home. I didn't really feel like cooking right now. She is getting warm. I'm heating up some creamy 
chicken noodle. I actually haven't tried this one, but I mean, simple. It's just chicken noodle, but a little creamy. So I'm sure she will not disappoint. Just a simple girl with simple needs. I cracked some saltines and I put just some extra seasoning on top. It's kind of early right now for me to be eating dinner. It's like six o'clock. So I'll probably have something else later but I just wanted a little something after my workout class because I always get quite hungry after a nice workout. Pop it. Pop that ass. I love when he does that. Well guys, I am watching The Bachelor. It's true, another season. I'll admit it, I think I've watched every season of The Bachelor or The Bachelorette for the last like two and a half or three years thought about not watching this one and then I was like what else am I gonna do with my Tuesdays because The Bachelor does air on Mondays I used to try to watch it live um but it's just I don't like watching it with the commercials I don't like watching anything with the commercials but I would just rather wait a day and be a little you know behind for a day and watch it without the commercials because it's just so much quicker especially because it's like a long show too you know what i mean it's like two hours to watch it live i ordered a pizza and jared's gonna pick it up on his way home from work i don't think the soup was enough and i've just been craving pizza and i had a free my free domino's pizza which is why i love ordering from their app because every six pizzas you you earn points to get a free one if you have an account and that's like pretty good you know that's like depending on how much you order pizza that could be like one or two pizzas a year maybe more that you just get free so this one was my free one which was always exciting i think i might take a bath at some point i mean i might put it off till tomorrow but i'm really freaking sore because um like i told you guys yesterday i hadn't worked out in almost a month <laughs> oh we're squeaking um he gets excited when he hears that jared is gonna be coming home soon but yeah i'm really freaking sore i'm really sore after working out yesterday and then again today and i am i'm fine with being sore but i think that an epsom salt bath could do me and my muscles some good and my body i'm sure will adjust after this week to being back on the grind it's definitely gonna be a chill night in i mean literally every winter night i've had for the past like month has pretty much been a chill night in but um but it's gonna be another one okay that's what i'm up to hi guys i wanted to come on and just end off this vlog i'm about to start editing it and i think it was maybe a little shorter i don't really know because i haven't edited it yet but i want to get it up for you guys so comment down below let me know if what's more you guys' vibe seeing like two slightly shorter my vlogs will probably never be short you know what i mean but two slightly shorter vlogs a week or one longer like it would probably be like 40 minutes potentially longer one longer vlog a week which you would prefer i feel like most of you guys like the longer vlogs but i know for some people it can be hard to like watch all that so leave me a comment down below telling me what you would prefer kind of for like more of a schedule two vlogs a week a little shorter or one vlog a week that's pretty long and that way i can know kind of like how many days to film on average and stuff like that but hope you guys liked this cozy home vlog we ran some errands just kind of like getting back into working out i worked out again today i was very proud of myself three days in a row which is super super shocking i am very sore i'm taking tomorrow off give it a thumbs up if you made it until the end to let me know and you guys can always check out my patreon down below if you want to see my additional content that i don't post on youtube um thank you to all of my patrons by the way that support me outside of this platform i love you guys so much i will see you very soon in another video bye